Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm ready to do my first impressions on the Urban EDC Supply Exclusive Ohlone Goat Version 2. This is in the Plain Titanium with Green G10 Inlay, and it has a satin finish on this blade here. So, I want to start by kind of going over my unboxing. When I initially unboxed this knife, I really liked it, snappy action. Uh, I really liked everything about it except for uh, two things. One, the packaging. I was I was a bit disappointed in the packaging. Uh, it came in just a cardboard box. It was just a brown cardboard box. I don't even know if it had a logo on it, to be honest, I can't remember. I'd have to check, but I don't even think it had an Ohlone logo or anything. Um, and then it was just this in like a, a bubble wrap or something. I don't even think it was in a plastic sleeve or anything. Um, so I was a bit disappointed by the packaging. And then uh, I was also disappointed by the closing action because it was a bit gritty and uh, you couldn't really like shake it shut like that. It was really kind of stiff. Um, so those are the two things that off the bat I kind of was disappointed with and uh, I spoke to the uh, designer of this knife his name is Derek Costa I spoke to him on Instagram and he told me that the packaging was basically a decision made to give the people more knife and uh, less kind of frills and extra superfluous stuff uh, basically he said he asked his customers about it and they basically unanimously said we'd rather have a better knife or a cheaper knife than have a bunch of fancy packaging. So he did say it's something he's working on because I was excited because the first version of the GOAT that came out last year I think or earlier this year um, that one came in a really cool like plastic case that had like the locks on the side you could click shut uh it just looked really cool the packaging and uh i was expecting that and i didn't get it so that's partially why i was disappointed because i had an image in my mind and i didn't get it so you know how that goes um but i do appreciate him letting me know why and and i understand I mean, honestly, once I take the pouch out and everything, I just zip it back up. Even if there's a cloth in there, half the time I just put the cloth back in, zip it up, and I put it in my box of boxes, you know? I have a whole thing full of knife boxes. So I totally get it, and it's kind of a little bit bougie of me to care about it, but it is what it is. Now, on the closing action, I also talked to Derek about it, and he said... All the ones he's had have broken in um, and I decided I would just take it apart and there was some grime in there around the bearings and stuff so once I cleaned it all out with alcohol wipes and put it back together um, it really has become super smooth it's just very smooth you can barely feel it moving um, and you can shake it shut like that um, so it definitely is a huge improvement and it's to the point now where I absolutely love the closing action. If you're right-handed, you can make it drop. Um, uh, it's really nice. So that's awesome. And I've talked to some other people who have this knife and they've said they did not have that issue. So it may have just been the one I had just somehow a little grime got in there at the factory. Um, this is made by Riot out of China. They are the OEM. The original version was made by Tuya Knives, but Derek decided to switch that up because he wasn't thrilled about, I guess, certain aspects of the way the knife came out, uh, fit and finish, that kind of stuff, I guess. I don't want to speak for him, uh, but he switched to Riot, and they did an absolutely fantastic job. The one thing you can always count on from Riot is a perfect perfect detent and it is absolutely there on this knife it is so snappy uh, there's no failing this knife i'm i might be able to do the pinch move yeah i can do the pinch move but again i always do that and it you can't count that because i'm literally 
pushing my finger, smushing the, the flipper tab down so it, it gunks up, you know? But if you do anything, pull it, flies open, push button, flies open. I mean, this detent is just absolutely nailed. It's right at the cusp, I would say, of being a little heavy, which is the perfect detent in my opinion because it's not heavy enough to where it like hurts if you do it over and over, but it's heavy enough to where it always just flies out of there. Uh, I just love a good Riot detent. Another example would be, uh, do I have it on me? Hang on one second. Uh, here we go. So I also just unboxed the Urban EDC Supply Exclusive Vox F5.5 here. And this is also made by Riot. That unboxing will be out soon after this. Um, so check that out. Um, but this detent is just so dialed in. It's just money. And it feels the same as the GOAT somehow, even though this one doesn't have a flipper tab. Um, they just nail it. So, anyway, I absolutely love the detent. I love the action on this knife. The aesthetic of the knife is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just look at this thing. It's just a beautiful drop point. Such a simple design. Got a little bit of my jean caught in the clip here. I have to uh, do something about that. These jeans are falling apart. <laughs> Uh, too many knives going in and out of pocket, but it's just such a clean design. Ergonomically, it just fits really good in my hand, even though I have a large sized hand. Um, it's such a neutral design or handle design that my hand just fits perfectly. There's no jimping, but there's no need for jimping because I'm locked in and my thumb rides halfway up, maybe three quarters of the way up the blade. Um, you have a super slicey thin edge here on this full flat grind. Um, you can see the unbelievable grinding that Riot did. If you look at the finish on there, you can see the grind lines. I mean, they just do such an amazing job. This is M390 steel. I haven't seen the marking anywhere. I know it's M390. Sure, it's. I think it's inside the scale, maybe, because when I took it apart, I noticed there was actually the Ohlone symbol inside, on the inside of the scale, along with numbering. They actually number each scale. Um, so the show side was numbered, and then the clip side was numbered, and they had the same number. So I guess that's something to do with Riot's manufacturing, but that was pretty cool. Um... So yeah, this knife is just fantastic ergonomically. The clip works unbelievably well. I've been carrying it mostly as a secondary knife in my back left pocket, uh, which has worked out really good. I almost never know it's there. Um, what you just saw there is one thing I wanna mention. This, this happens with Riot knives sometimes, and I think it's because they're too smooth. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but when you go to close it, it kind of like is so smooth here that it will lock back up. It just kind of like shakes back up before you can fully break that detent. Uh, as a righty, you probably never notice that because um, you're just dropping it and then closing. But as a lefty, you have to pass the detent and sometimes you don't get it all the way and then it kind of kicks back. Um, it's a weird thing. I, I noticed it on my Pena X-Series Mula as well. Um, those are the two Riot knives I've noticed it on. But it's kind of just... I think it's maybe because the blade is so lightweight that when I go to shake it closed, it kind of flings back. Um, it's not really an issue. I just wanted to point it out because I, I was doing it there. Um, but yeah, you have these G10 inlays. This is green G10. Uh, on both sides there, uh, Urban EDC Supply also has the Jade G10 inlay version, which is very cool. Um, you could dye that any color you want. The inlays are easy to get in and out. Um, I love the bolster lock as a lefty because I don't have any worries about putting pressure on the frame lock like I do with a lot of other knives. 
For example, I have the Satori 2.0 here from CKF. And there's a thin handle and then you have the frame lock here. So you, I always have to be conscious of where I'm putting fingers because I might put pressure on the lock bar and then I can't use the flipper. So that is not an issue on this knife because of the bolster lock. It's such a small uh, area there where the lock is that you don't have to worry about it at all. You can just put your hand wherever you want and fire the knife. It's fantastic. Um, so yeah, uh, those are my first impressions of the Urban EDC Supply Exclusive Ohlone Knives Goat Version 2 in the Green G10. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you later.